Hi, it's Mr. Hancock here. Let's have a go at completing this short quiz on the economic causes of uneven development based on what we learned during the previous video. Pause the video to attempt the questions and press play to reveal the answers. Here we go. Hopefully that was four out of four. and Well done if you achieved that. Double check any mistakes that you might have made may be adding to your notes from last time. Let's move on. In this video, we're going to be looking at the final cause of uneven development, and that is the historical causes. As always, you'll need a pen and paper to complete the tasks in this video. And this time, we're going to include a GCSE question from the 2019 paper. Look out for these symbols throughout the video that indicate reading and writing opportunities. Press pause whilst you write down the focus and restart when you're done. Don't forget you can access the digital textbook as you watch the video. The access details are shown on the screen. In this video, we're going to be making use of page 203. Press pause whilst you add the key idea, historical causes of uneven development. Pause the video and have a read of this extract. There's quite a lot of detail on here, but the critical part comes towards the end when the impact of colonialism is linked to development. You can make a few notes if you wish, but I've also included an extract from the CGP textbook in a few moments that you may wish to use instead of or in addition to what's on the screen. Restart the video when you're ready. In this CGP extract, we find out about two historical causes, colonization, which is the same as colonialism and conflict. Again, Read the text and make your own notes, looking out for those links with development. Restart the video when you're ready to tackle that 2019 GCSE question. This is a two mark question that uses the command term outline. For this, you're not writing too much, but you should make at least one point and then develop it. This is what was reported by the examiners following the 2019 exams. Take your time to read all of this slide and then press pause to complete your response, restarting the video to see the mark scheme. Examiners were looking for students to introduce one historical factor, not two, just one, and then link it to uneven development. A basic statement on its own would only be worth one mark because it's not linked to uneven development. The second mark requires students to develop their idea by linking the historical factor to uneven development. Read through this slide and determine how many marks your response would get. Even if you think your response would get two marks, you might want to consider using some of the information to boost your response. Pause the video for as long as you need and then restart. As in previous videos, a stretch yourself task has been included. If you wish to attempt this, then you will need to go online to do some research. You should be thinking about the good and the bad impacts. Pause the video and restart it when you're ready to see the mark scheme. Otherwise, just let the video continue on to the practice exam question. Pause the video whilst you copy down this four mark question. The command term is explain. This is all about giving reasons. You're on the right tracks if you can use the word because in your response. Use what you've learned during this video 
and the previous two videos on economic and physical causes to help you write your response and then resume the video to see the mark scheme. This is the mark scheme. A four mark question like this will be a levelled question split into basic and clear evidence. See the grey table on the right. Have a read of the bullet points and study the grey table, pausing the video as you do so. Where would you put your response? Was it a clear answer or did you slip down into basic? If you need to improve your response based on the bullet points, then now is the time to do so, pausing and resuming the video when you're ready. That's it. We've now covered all of the causes of uneven development, physical causes, economic causes and historical causes. So now you know why some parts of the world, like the UK, are well developed and why other parts of the world are struggling with low levels of development. Next time, we will start to look at the remaining content for this part of the specification. See the red highlighted section. It's all about the consequences or impacts of uneven development. If you wish to read ahead, we'll be using pages 204 and 205 of the Caboodle textbook. That's it for now. See you soon.